Hi, and welcome to videos by GammaGaggerCounter.com and we're continuing our series on the Gamma Easy. Let me just switch this on. And in this video, we're going to be showing you um, some actual measurements with some samples. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, let me show you the samples I have. I have a Cobalt 60 source, which is a gamma radioactive source. And it's just one micro Curie, a little dot in the middle there of uh, Cobalt 60. And it's used a lot in um, uh, like medical devices, like to generate x-rays, that kind of stuff. Also, a beta source. Um, just to show you that the product doesn't work with beta, this is a, th a Thallium 204. And I'll show you with, um, with the Gamma Easy and I'll also show you with my handy Gamma Scout. Um, Gamma Scout's also made by the same company. It's uh, Gamma Scout as well. Same name for the product and the, and the factory. So I'll, I'll be showing you measurements with uh, both of those. So um, in uh, the Gamma Easy, um, one thing you might want to do if you're, if you're bringing it up against uh, suspect um, radioactive sources, you might want to turn the alert ticker on just so that you have an audible... Um, way to hear the radiation source and ticker status is already on you can switch that off by holding down the left navigation key and on by hitting the right one okay and uh, let's see what it does with the cobalt 60 source so the the sense is actually in in the middle here i think it's sitting um uh, horizontally across this way um, so if we place the gamma source pretty much anywhere because it goes through um, a plastic material pretty easily, then we should see the measurements shoot up. Right now we're reading, well, we shot up a little bit because I brought it close, but um, we were reading background radiation of about 0.2 just a little minute ago. If I, if I hold the source away, then you'll see it probably start going down um, in a little bit. Let's just uh, let the measurements go down and then we'll bring the source closer. And just give it a couple of seconds here. As you can see, it starts starting to cr creep back down um, as it goes. It's a measurement window of six seconds. So as that time expires, it'll start going down even more because it's taken an average of the last 60 seconds. All right, it's uh, probably gone down enough. Uh, 0.4, it's still going down. I'm just going to bring this closer now. And let's see how many counts per minute we can get here with a Cobalt 60 source. And you can hear it kind of ticking away right now. And let me turn the display back on here. There we go. We're at a count of about 70 in about 15 seconds, maybe 80 in about 15 seconds. We're at a reading of about uh, 6 microsieverts per hour, according to this device. And uh, we're in about 30 seconds, we had about 200 uh, counts. And, that, and the counts are the events in the Geiger-Muller tube, which is a sensor. And usually you get maybe a count a minute, really. It's not that many counts with background radiation. And we're almost up to a minute. So let's see, 303, 311 counts, 318, 21. So we have three, about 350 counts per minute and a reading of 11.8 microsieverts per hour. I'll just turn this on again. The display goes off after a couple of minutes. Well, it goes dim after a couple of minutes. Um, so that's uh, pretty interesting. About 350 counts per minute. Now let's see what our Gamma Scout tells us. It's a more sensitive device because it's also, you know, it's got a different uh, sensor and it's more expensive. It's about twice as expensive as that unit over there. Let's turn the alert ticker on on this one. And let's hold this over here. We're seeing in microsieverts per hour, but I want counts per second. So let's change that reading. And its sensor is right over here. You can actually see the, um, the top of the tube over there. I'm just going to hold it across here. Across the back like that. 
Wow, and we're getting a reading here of 130 per second. I mean, it's a lot more than the... And that's per second. The other one was per minute. So the other one was 350 per minute. This is 136 per second. So as you can tell, this is a much more sensitive device. And then let's see what happens when we try and measure uh, a beta source with our Gamma Easy. Um, it says it's a Gamma only product, so uh, we don't expect it's going to jump up any. We're at 0.17 microsieverts, or about you know two, three, four counts per per minute, which is pretty normal. Um, we shouldn't see this jump um, at all. And as you can see, we're still getting a 0.13 microsieverts per hour reading. So that's not changing um, at all. It just went off after the five measurement window. Um, and I'm just going to turn it back on. So as you can see, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not detecting any radiation for, for, for a beta source. And let's check it with our Gamma Scout. The Gamma Scout has um, a sensor with a, with a mica end, so it has an exposed end and it can measure alpha and beta. So if you try, first of all, with, um, with that shielded off, it shouldn't jump any. It should just read, you know, like one count per second or thereabouts. There you go. So a count per second, which is pretty much um, background for this unit. But if we remove this end to expose the sensor and we stick the source right at the top, yeah, you can see it's um, starting to read a whole lot of radiation. We're up to 100 counts per second or thereabouts. So there you have it, the difference between the um, Gamma Easy and the Gamma Scout. And uh, the Gamma Easy can detect gamma radiation pretty well. Uh, the Gamma Scout's a little bit more expensive, a little bit more sensitive. Uh, but this is a Gamma Easy is a very um, good uh, entry-level product. I mean, it's good for educational purposes. It's good for measuring um, radiation um, like uranium and thorium and uh, all, all the gamma emitters are in, 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 in rocks, in a lot of rocks. And um, it's also uh, it's a good general-purpose device and looks kind of nice and, and it fits very nicely in your hand. So I hope this video has been helpful. I am uh, going to see you in the next video. Thank you.